Hi. NBT data is probably one of the most helpful things to use while working with commands. It can be added to mobs, blocks, and items to basically change something about them. You can do a whole bunch of wacky stuff with NBT DAGs. For instance, a villager holding a water bucket. That is a jungle farmer with another villager riding it. Today I'll show you how to use NBT DAGs, how to use slash data, and some of my personal favorite tags. Unlike most parts of a command, NBT tags don't have a sort of autofill that lets you easily get what command you want, making writing with it quite difficult. All NBT tags are stored in what Notch calls a tree structure. It's contained inside two curly brackets and has a bunch of information that changes stuff. On items, it's used at the end of slash give. On entities, it's used at the end of slash summon. And on blocks, it's used at the end of slash set block or slash fill. Slash data can be used in four different ways. Get, merge, modify, or remove. Firstly, get. This basically tells you what the NBT data of a block or entity is. You can be more specific by typing in what data path you want, and it will just tell you that one tag. Merge. Merge basically gets the already existing NBT data and merges it with some other NBT data of your choice. So for instance, a panda that we will force it to forget gravity. Unfortunately, slash data merge does not work on players, meaning that we can't easily change our NBT tags. Remove. Remove is like merge, but the opposite. It gets rid of NBT data. So now we give it gravity again. Modify. Modify can alter the NBT data of a block or mob depending on another block or mob's data. For example, if we are holding an iron sword and modify set a villager's hand items to be the same as my selected item, the villager is also holding an iron sword. Also, if you put this in a repeating command block, it makes a villager that is holding whatever you are holding. There are also a bunch of other data modify things other than set, but they aren't really that useful. This list is just a few of the most useful MBT tags. There are so many more, and in the description will be a link to a web page with all the different types. Also, that web page might not be up to date. Enchantments. This lets you get enchantments on items, and can even get more than you're supposed to, like knockback 255. Display. Changes the name and color of the text of an item. Unbreakable. This makes a tool or weapon unable to lose durability. Motion. Motion can set motion to a certain entity, basically launching it. Passengers. Makes the entity have another mob riding it. No AI. This basically removes his brain. It can't do anything. No gravity. As shown before, this makes the mob forget about gravity. Silent. This prevents a mob from making a noise. Invulnerable. This makes a mob immortal. The only way it can die is from someone in creative or the void. Custom name gives the mob a name. Persistence required. This is given to a mob to stop it from despawning. Block state. This is a fun one. You can give it to falling blocks to change what block it looks like. And paired with no gravity, it creates a fake block that can be out of line. Explosion power. Changes the explosion power of fireballs with the skulls in TNT. This is also quite fun. Explosion radius is exactly the same as explosion power, but for creepers. Invisible. Makes armor stance or item frames invisible. And that is it. Thank you all for watching, and maybe check out some other videos where I make cool stuff with commands. Bye.